The Galaxy Watch 4 has a pretty gorgeous display. It's really colorful and bright. And what can look really good on that are watch faces that are equally good looking. Now, the watch faces that come in the stock app are good and functional, but you can get bored of them quite easily. Facer is a watch face library that you can download from the Play Store for free and it offers thousands of watch faces, both free and paid. And honestly, there are all kinds of watch faces here. Analog, digital, minimal, super funky, cartoonish, everything that you can think of. And even before you apply, you can customize the colors and see what it looks like. You can see what the always on display is going to look like. And you can preview a watch face on your watch before purchasing if at all required. This next app is really interesting. It converts your watch force display into a trackpad. So you can control the cursor of your mouse on your PC or your MacBook. You just have to make sure that all devices, including your phone, are on the same Wi-Fi network as your PC. And that's it. And I was quite surprised at how flawlessly it worked. You know, the latency or the delay is quiet low and you can see it right in front of you. And this is all happening wirelessly. The watch is communicating with the phone, which is communicating with the PC and all over a Wi-Fi network. And the app is called Unified Remote Full. Uh, there's another app, which is for VLC, and you can control a VLC player from your watch using this app. Just something to know. This next app is a pretty popular one, but just in case if you don't know, you can launch pretty much any app by simple gestures and it works again very well. So you just tap on the right edge of your screen from any app that you're on, draw a gesture that you've assigned to a particular app or a function and the watch will launch it. This is amazingly easy and it's so quick to launch any of these functions or apps because otherwise you have to scroll through a list of quite a few apps that you may have already installed or just you know walk through app tiles which can take time but this is really easy it's called wear gesture launcher and you can configure all of these actions add more and then it just syncs with your watch and saves that gesture next one of the best things about these smartwatches is that you can receive all your notifications and respond to them from the watch itself and that's why you need something that can help you type fast and without making too many mistakes. And that's where Gboard as a keyboard comes into play. So you can pretty much type the same way you would on a phone by gliding over letters and sentences form pretty fast. Just go into the Play Store on your watch, look for Gboard, it'll be the first option. Just make sure it's installed. All right, and before we move on, a quick shout out to our sponsors, Morning Brew, which is a newsletter that I've been subscribed to for more than six to seven months now. It's an amazing way for me to get up to speed with business, tech and finance news within five minutes. And it's free, it comes from Mondays to Sundays. And it's not like those traditional, boring, dense, serious news. It's actually written in a very interesting way. It's witty and it's so much better than aimlessly scrolling through social media when I wake up. I typically look forward to information on stocks and crypto because that's what I'm currently invested in and just staying updated is really important. And there are also a couple of new things I learned. For example, we finally have a WHO endorsed vaccine for malaria. That's great. I've been absolutely enjoying Morning Brew and I think you would love it too. It's absolutely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So I'm going to have the link in the description. Go ahead and subscribe to Morning Brew today. And if you're someone like me who quickly wants to take a note down and don't always have your phone with you, but you don't want to miss onto the idea, must have Google Keep on your watch. You can create checklists, notes, add reminders to them all from your watch and it syncs with the actual Google Keep app. So yeah, if you're someone who wants a very simple to-do app or something to just quickly take down notes, I think this is perfect. I personally use Todoist and they have a really good Wear OS companion app that works flawlessly, including a complication that you can add to your watch faces. So it's really good. It works amazingly well. And yeah, you can see your today tasks or upcoming tasks or your tasks in inbox. Again, if you're using Todoist. And lastly, you must have Spotify. I mean, if you've bought the Galaxy Watch 4 and you don't use Spotify as your streaming service by default, I think you've got a pretty big reason now, just because the integration of Spotify app on the Watch 4 is amazing. First of all, and the most important thing is that you can download your favorite songs, keep them on the watch and listen to them offline. And if you've got your earbuds connected directly to the watch, you don't even need your phone. And it's possible that most of you have actually gotten yourself the Wi-Fi version of the watch, which does not support LTE. And that means having songs downloaded to your watch is really important if you want to be able to listen to music without your phone. And yeah, you can control volume, hit like, just, just do all of that. 
And that's it guys, those were 6 apps that I felt would really help you if you had them on your Galaxy Watch 4. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.